So good morning, everybody. I want to drop some gems on you today. Um, depending on when you pick up BattleTech, you are either already an adult getting into this whole new dot matrix accounting war game and hoping you would get vehicles that were awesome. Or maybe like myself, you were 80s baby. You have Blue Thunder. You had Airwolf. You had all the Vietnam movies with the uh, helicopters dropping off troops and going into combat. You had Black Hawk Down. You had all of these Halo games where the ship would just throw troops out of the back of a transport and you're like, guess we're in the stuff now. So in honor of those beautiful childhood memories, I wanted to hit you with some of my favorite Battletech vehicles. Now, one of them is a repeat. Yeah, you'll get over it. But the other ones bring up new tactics. And if you saw my birthday game, my opponent used one of these vehicles to a beautiful degree of hurt. Let's go. So I would like to start off with the Peregrine. Yes, I know the lawn dart from every Mech Warrior 2, 3, 4, and 5 game that you want to forget. The lawn dart called the Peregrine by itself is amazing. 24 inches, team M4, getting the plus one for being a VTO, giving it a plus five mod off the bat. And then we're going to go ahead and hit the SRM ability. You can chuck Infernos at everybody. So with that being said, everyone has it all year round to the late Republic. Moving to the next one, Cargo. Why is a Cargo one important? It's not. But if you drop a green or rookie pilot skill six in there, you get a high speed. Cargo vehicle that moves 17 tons of cargo, but at the same time is just a cheap, low cost, high speed spotter that your opponent is going to have to dedicate firepower to take out. So if you manage to have good line of sight at long range, this is a plus nine to shoot. No regular four gunnery skills will be able to touch this thing, it'll be broken. You're welcome. Now to my personal favorite. The Peregrine Karita variant at 26 points, still SRM1, but it's 3-3 three, three damage. Getting behind an opponent is 4s, and it just hurts more, and I have no complaints. And yes, it's everyone gets it going into the clan invasion until it goes extinct. 26 points can really change the tone of a conversation about how well a game is doing. So with that being said, choice. The decision is you want this in your life. Yes, you want this to be a part of your in going in combined arms tactical. Now, in honor of the Kickstarter that's coming out, the H7 Warrior Tac helicopter that haunts my dreams in Mech Warrior 5 isn't bad 18 inches team m3 110 star close range is a plus four medium range plus six long range plus eight it does a significant amount of damage everyone gets it yeah not super stoked on it but the h8 upgrade faster more damage at medium range now I'm impressed. We're not going to touch the experimentals. We're going to go to the H10. Infantry transport with a machine gun, but it's still packing 20. High speed spotter. And that's it. Now, what my opponent threw at me on my birthday, 
It was not the stock model, it was the world model, but I wanted to talk about the stock model. 20 inch movement, TMM4, 2 2, 2 armor, 2 structure, and indirect, probe and recon for 30 points. This is a lot in one package. High speed scout, spotter for artillery, no one's escaping you. It's a monster. Yes, kids. If it wasn't so expensive per model, I would actually have eight of these. $16 a piece for something I'm not going to use every game is eh with me. But let's just go to the word of Blake model, which was thrown at me. And grr, was it thrown at me well. So, IT6. What a monster. It's dropping off two full foot platoons that can shoot the turn they get out. Two, two, zero, three armor, two structure. It's still a monster. It has more armor than a regular one. I don't know how, but it's a word of Blake variant, and it's just terrifying. I'm glad it goes extinct. Last but not least is my other personal favorite going from the 3145 era. The Cardinal Transport, Jade Falcon, Sea Fox, Chaconus Combine, Kellhounds, like Commonwealth Mercenary Republican Sphere, and Wolf Dragoons. This is a boat of death. We're just going to call it what it is death. So the base Cardinal, 16 inches of movement, team of three. It's a big boat of size two. One is short, two a medium, one at long, three armor, three structure. It's got flak, indirect fire, even if it's zeros, and infantry transport 10. What do you not want from this thing? You can carry a battle armor platoon, a foot platoon, and some stragglers safe and securely. Yes, 16 inches of movement, no one cares. It's a beast. You just got to keep it loaded to the ground, out of line of sight, and let it do its thing. The RAF isn't much of an improvement. It's two more people of, I'm sorry, two more points of infantry transport, 220, and it loses the flag, still got the indirect fire. But it's 28 points. Both of the birds are beautiful, but I hope you've enjoyed this experience with me. I would say the Cardinals are replacing for the Black Hawk, in my opinion, but all the helicopters that I showed you today were amazing. Yes. And I just wish that there was actually a plastic model for every one of these things coming out. I'm tired of paying $15 plus for one piece of pewter. Just my opinion. Just my opinion. Enjoy. Talk to y'all later. Mega Madness.